It is Saturday and we talked over on Instagram last night and we said I was going to vlog today. But I'm telling you right now, it is 12.57 in the afternoon and I'm just picking up my camera now. So although I have not been vlogging today, I have spent the entire morning filming. Literally started at nine, it is now one o'clock. And I filmed a what's in my bag gym edition. And then also am working on a collab that goes live at 8 p.m. on Sunday. And I'm really excited about the video. Um, and I had a lot of fun filming it. Um, so yeah, that's what I did all morning. But now it is one o'clock. I wanna get the what's in my bag uploaded because all my friends are over in Dublin and Denmark. Um, I know that you guys will all be going to bed if I wait too late. Um, so I'm gonna try to get that up now and then go out and run some errands, take you guys with me. But because, oh, sorry about the lighting. Um, but because I have been filming, I have not eaten anything. I had a cup of coffee this morning, but I need something to eat. So I'm going to quickly show you how I make acai bowls. Um, they're one of my favorite go-tos for breakfast, but today I'm having one for lunch. So join me in the kitchen. Um, so I do have a Vitamix. I know that these are quite an investment. Um, they are not cheap, but I will tell you they are so stinking worth it. I absolutely love this thing. I make soups in it. I make my acai bowls. I make my smoothies. I do everything in it. I just recommend it. Um, but I'm sure there are some other great alternatives. If you have some great alternative blenders, go ahead and leave them linked down below for everyone so they can hear them. Um, but yeah, I love this thing. So when I'm making my acai bowls, I love this Samzabon or Sambazon. Um, acai. Um, it's frozen. You just run this under a little bit of warm water for like 30 seconds and then squeeze it into your blender. And then I add one frozen banana and a handful of organic frozen blueberries and blend it up. And then I'll show you how I top it. So just throw in that frozen acai. my one frozen banana and then lastly a handful of frozen blueberries and then turn it on and if you notice it isn't um, blending fast enough just always add a little bit more liquid um, but add it slowly But I'd also always say like try to tamper it down before adding liquid um, just so you can keep it that really thick consistency. Now you just pour everything in and then put your toppings on. And then what I do is I just pat it all down. And what I'm going to add is I'm just going to add some bananas to it, some organic granola. This is just an ancient grain granola. Then I'm going to add a little bit of unsweetened coconut flakes, just a few little almonds. And that is going to be my lunch. I'm going to have this acai bowl, uh, probably a cup of tea, head out to the mall and do some errands. But in the meantime, why wouldn't it decide to snow a little bit more? First of all, you guys check this out. That is literally how deep the snow is. <laughs> um, and of course it has decided to snow a little bit more because two feet just isn't enough. All right, so I'm gonna enjoy my lunch. If you have any questions about how to make your own acai bowl, just leave them down below because you know I'll respond. Um, so real quick, we are going to switch out bags for today and I am going to switch out my Birkin for my Chanel Urban Spirit backpack. Um, I love this, I never ever use it. So we're gonna run to Goodwill, have some returns to make and just a couple errands and we're gonna use this one for today. And I'm gonna grab my toiletry 26 and slide that in there. My Louis Vuitton Retiro wallet. And my Hermes Ulysses. Toss a pen in here. Uh, my Prada sunglasses. And then I am going to shove my hat in there because it's snowing and cold, so we might need it. My outfit for running errands today is this striped shirt my black scarf, my ASOS coat. I have my little P. 
piece pin on the lapel. I have been loving it. And then just a pair of black cuff pants, my white tassel shoes, and this Urban Spirit backpack. All right, let's get going. When I tell you all that I have a serious swell bottle addiction, it is true. I have this one in here. Just showed you one in my What's in My Gym Bag video. Like, it's a real, it's a real problem. <laughs> it's super bright out. So we need to throw on a pair of sunglasses. And I have many options because there's a sea of a thousand. I just went in to Goodwill and found some really great things. Um, I got a bunch of different uh, different mixed metal pieces that um, cost me a total of $13. I feel if you were to go anywhere and buy like the little containers that I wanted um, in different mixed metals, it would cost you a fortune. So I love Goodwill for all those little room accessories to add detail, especially like any brass or gold pieces. A, because you get them so cheap. And I think the next thing is they look lived in and they have a little bit of like a good tarnish on them. I'll run them all through the dishwasher. If they tarnish a little bit more, I'm not upset about it. They just look like even a little bit more rustic. Um, so I will show you when we get home what I found, but $13, you cannot, cannot beat it. So now like so many weekends, we are on our way to Sephora. At Sephora, I need to get a couple things. I am all out of Dry Bar The Sheriff Hairspray. It is my absolute favorite hairspray. And then I also want to pick up some new Bumble and Bumble uh, foam spray. I've been loving it um, to add some texture and I've been mixing it with my herbivore sea salt spray, which has been fantastic. And then I also just wanna check out a couple other things while I'm there. So I just wrapped up at Sephora and I thought it'd be really fun to do like a little car haul. So I'm gonna go ahead and show you uh, what I picked up there um, because two things I'm gonna try that are brand new. First I have the usual suspects which is the Bumble and Bumble Surf Foam Spray. This is a lot of texture and a lot of hold. I really like this stuff when I want like more firm setting in my hair. And then the Sheriff Dry Bar. You put this in your hair, it will never go anywhere. The next thing I purchased is a brand that I'm new to and it is from upstate New York actually. And it is Pharmacy and it is the Honey Savior. And this is a salve to repair really dried skin. I put this on and it literally smelled like honey and goodness. And the packaging is really beautiful and I'm a sucker for good packaging. The next thing I picked up is also from the pharmacy line. You guys know you can always talk me into a good mask and this is the Honey Potion Renewing Antioxidant Hydration Mask. It is like a beautiful wooden jar. It looks like honey. The spatula actually magnetizes to this top. What it says you do is you put it on with the spatula. Oh my gosh, it literally smells like pure honey. You put it on with the spatula and it warms up actually, and you rub it in for one to two minutes and then you let it sit for 15 to 20 and then you rinse it off. And then the last thing I picked up at Sephora uh, is a fragrance and it's Hermes La Amber de Marvelise. I probably said it wrong. Um, but it was a really beautiful fragrance. It's warm and spicy, very ambery. Um, it's like my Amber Nargile that I tell you is like the spice cake, but this feels a little bit more ready for spring and summer and less like fall, winter and the holiday season. So that is what I picked up. I will leave all these products linked down below if you're interested in them. And I will definitely let you know how this pharmacy stuff works out, but I'm super excited about it. I really can't get over the packaging. It's me, I'm home. Hi. Hi. Hi, so what you doing? What you doing? Oh, say hello, how's you do? How you doing? Ooh, how you doing, you could sing. Oh, could sing. Oh, you're the cutest. Oh, you're the cutest doggy in the world, so handsome. Did you and daddy sleep while I was gone? Is that what you did? Is daddy upstairs? Let's go upstairs. Is daddy upstairs? Is daddy upstairs? <gasps> Is he upstairs? Oh no, go get him. Go get him.
this is our life. So, uh, yeah, let me go ahead and show you what I grabbed at Goodwill. Let me take this off. The first thing I got is this bunt pan, and it's a really cool, like, coppery orange color. What I use these for is I will throw in, like, bars of decorative soap. Sometimes I also keep my cotton pads, my Shiseido cotton pads that I put, like, my toners on in these on my shelf. Um, yeah, I love these things. Then, you guys know I love any mixed metal, so they had these really beautiful candlestick holders. And you also know that I'll keep like empty candlestick holders like around my house, they're on my dining room table, and like just different vignettes. So um, yeah, this one's copper, and then it also has like this gold handle. And it's so rare that you find two of anything, and I paid a dollar a piece for each of those. I got this really great rustic gold bowl. I paid two dollars for it, a dollar ninety nine. Um, I will probably put something in this. I don't know. I could even make a candle and put it in here. I've never made a candle, but I could start. Got this little cute, um, I think they used to like spit tobacco out in them. I know that sounds disgusting. I have a couple of these. I use them as flower vases. This one I'm going to use is like a little tiny bud vase. I have no clue what this is. I don't think it was a candle holder. I don't know what it is. I think it could be a vase, but I thought I will use it as a vase with like one tall stem in it. It's really heavy, 99 cents. And then I got this just to throw in like bath salts in the guest bathroom or bars of soap. Um, it looked really cool next to the tub. But yeah, if you went and bought these, this one was $1.99. If you bought these, it would cost you a fortune. It cost me, oh, I'm sorry, it was $12.91. So yeah. You can't beat it. All this for $12, well, 13. But um, yeah, I'm really excited about it. I've done editing my um, collab video with Christy. Oh, I am so excited. She sent me some footage, and as I was editing it, to see our footage side by side uh, was literally so exciting. So I'm going to make a barbecue chickpea salad. It is super simple. I'm gonna grab two cans of chickpeas and then my favorite barbecue sauce is Lily's barbecue sauce. You can get it at a lot of different stores. I love it, it's really good. Um, yeah, I'm gonna throw some chickpeas in a pan, let them cook in the barbecue sauce and really soak in, soften and let that thicken up. Top it on top of salad and then I'm gonna show you how I make my creamy hummus dressing. So let's get going. So I have my pan on like medium heat. I'm just gonna add some avocado oil to it. Then let me go get my rinsed chickpeas. I'm just gonna toss them in there. I'm going to stir this around just so I get the avocado oil over the chickpeas. And now I'm gonna add the barbecue sauce. Now this is really like go to taste, but you'll see that this is a pretty thin sauce. So I'm just going to stir it around. But what's great is this will really thicken up and flavor the chickpeas. I'll just let them soak in it and really cook down. So I could not convince Stephen to go to the movie with me, but it is 10.20. The movie starts at 10.30. I live really close to the theater and I am going <laughs> to see Beauty and the Beast again. I feel like the biggest loser on the planet. But. I loved it so much. And I have my old man glasses on. It is one in the morning. I just got home from seeing Beauty and the Beast for the second time. I love it so much. It is such a good movie. Um, I am like a mildly obsessed with it. If you haven't seen it, you have to go and see it because I love it. It is so good. Um, Steven is already upstairs snoring. Bob has took my spot in bed. Um, I'm going to go ahead and hop on my computer and answer some comments from the new video that posted. Um, and then I'm gonna go try to get Bubba's out of my spot and get some sleep. But, um, yeah, go see it. It's so good. 
and it's ridiculous that I've gone again and I would go again tomorrow if I could. Um, all right, so I'm calling this vlog done for today. I'm saying good night and I will see you again tomorrow. Good morning, everybody. It is around 8 a.m. and I just woke up. I got home so late because I went and saw Beauty and the Beast again and I just couldn't get up. So it is around 8. Steven is still asleep. Um, and yeah, so um, I need coffee desperately. Desperately, desperately, desperately. Um, so that needs to happen right now. So many of you have been asking me on Instagram where my coffee mugs are from. I have recently been buying them from H&M Home. Even if you don't have an H&M near you, um, they do offer them online so you can purchase them online. But I will show you the four that I picked up. First, there's this amazing little blush pink one with the gold handle. I think I'm gonna use that one today. The flamingo cup that you all love. This one with pineapples, and then this one with like a leopard print. So, <laughs> I'm still looking horrendous. Um, but I just got done cleaning the house, um, basically dusted, and then I take dryer sheets and run them along my floorboards about at least once a month. Um, the static from the uh, dryer sheets actually picks up all the dust and hair and also leaves your house smelling really good, so I always buy like boxes of them at like Sam's Club or Costco, so you could just like run them across your baseboards um, and you don't feel as bad about using them. And the mail just went and I'm expecting a couple packages, so I'm gonna go grab that and then I'm gonna get ready because I also, sorry about the light, I also cleaned out my closet today and I have a bunch of clothes I wanna take up and get donated um, to Goodwill. I probably have like five bags, it's ridiculous. And I still have so many clothes in my closet. And then in here are a pair of sunglasses. You all know I'm like a sunglass nut, and these are a pair of Lespec sunglasses. Um, you can get them at Nordstrom, but Nordstrom didn't have the exact ones I wanted, so I looked on Amazon. I did end up paying a little bit more than they are on the Nordstrom site, but that is how it goes. I think I ended up paying like 90 something when at Nordstrom they're like 80. But they're a pair of, oh, I love them already. They're completely flat which is super cool. And there's a pair of black aviator sunglasses. And I like them. They're super simple. And they're really comfortable. Once again, I don't understand the soft sunglass cases. You guys heard me complain about my Celine's. Like, this is not gonna stop them from getting crushed. Alrighty, let's get going. So we are ready to roll, and I am rocking this spiritual gangster hat that I also got off of Carbon 38, which I talked about in my What's In My Bag Jim video. What's in my bag? Jim Essentials video, <laughs> and I will leave that link down below, but it's so cool, and I love it. So we are ready to rock and roll, and let's get going. So seriously, I'm getting rid of an entire trunk full of clothes. It is ludicrous. Of course I'm listening to the Beauty and the Beast soundtrack because I'm a loser. No, it's because I'm amazing. Let's try these sunglasses and see what we think. Town. It's, it's a, a quiet village Every day Like the one before I don't know how I feel about that Well, that man was so pleasant and kind. Just makes me so happy for our world when you meet nice people. So I have a quick question for everyone. I am in a plaza um, that I come to all the time. It has home goods, but they also have an Alta, 
And I have never gone into an Alta because the Sephora is three minutes from my house. Can someone please tell me what is the difference between Alta and Sephora? Like, do they carry the same brands or do they carry different brands? Are their prices similar? I'm just curious because I uh, have never been to one and I don't feel the need to go, but if I'm missing out on something, please let me know so I can start going. I am going to go home and try that honey mask. So I just tried the pharmacy honey mask and it says to rub it in for one to two minutes and it'll warm. And you know how many things say like it'll warm? This truly got warm. So now we let it on for like 15 to 20 minutes and then we rinse it off. I can tell you I feel a slight tingle. The warmth is still there. I am really, really enjoying it. While I have this mask on, by the way, it has been on for about five minutes and is still like super warming, which is really awesome. Um, I'm really liking it. I thought I'd show you where some of those Goodwill pieces ended up in my house. So what is really amazing is at my kitchen sink, that one Goodwill bowl actually fits all four of these beautifully. And then I added that little, um, whatever it is, we don't know what it is, maybe candlestick. Um, but I'm gonna use it as a vase and put like a long stem in there of some sort. And then I just added a diptyque candle and I have my rub away bar. But I can't believe they all fit in there like so perfectly. The other pieces, I just added them into some of the vignettes within this cabinet. And then with the little bowl that I found, I went ahead and placed it on this shelf. Ah, there's a bubbles. There's a bubbles. He's a good boy. He's such a good boy. He's such a good boy. Yes, he is. I see. Is he the best boy? He's a best boy. It's a best boy. Oh, yes, who is? Yes, who is a best boy? So I just finished the mask. It came off really easy, which surprised me for like the honey consistency. My face does feel really smooth. There's no like residue or anything. Um, I'm going to have to use it a little bit more to uh, see how I feel about it, but so far um, I wasn't mad at it. Um, so we are going to end this vlog here. The fact that you have made it this far is amazing. I'm going to spend the rest of my afternoon starting a new book, The Kitchen House. Um, I've heard really good things about it, so starting that and um, I'm going to get this going live while I'm reading. I'm just going to upload it and link all the products that I mentioned down below. And then remember, 8 p.m., Christy Russell and I are having a collab video going live. I'm super excited about it, and I think you guys will really like it. I'm going to sign off this video like I sign off all my videos. Take care of yourself, take care of others, and be kind. Until next time, bye-bye.